ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chaos TV streaming live from the Game Center in Wasp. And of course, we are shoutcasting the entire day. It is Ace of Summer 2011, played at the Cyber Sports Arena in Kiev, of course, host to uh, quite a number of gaming tournaments. And uh, Counter Strike is uh, the game of choice today. $8,800 being divided over the top three uh, teams. And uh, one of the main favorites to take that is Frag Executors, who we will see in action right now up against Fear Factory, the second best Polish team. So an all Polish uh, matchup here in the quarterfinal and um, arguably the most interesting match we will see, although DTS versus Virtus Pro was kind of a good one as well. But uh, we decided to go for this one. Quite some delays, but finally ready to get underway. The knife round was just played. And it seems that uh, Fear Factory has won and decided to go T side of the map, Dust 2. Uh, second and third map are to be decided, so uh, I'm not sure what that is. It wasn't on their website. And the admins uh, probably know it by now, but we'll hear later. And here we go, underway, not just yet. They're still uh, in warm-up mode, it seems, despite having done the knife round already. Waiting for the live, live, live. A three restarts should give us a signal pretty soon. Let's go over the rosters once more. Fear Factory, of course, uh, Tommy, who is uh, THS, usually his nickname, Thomas Appel. There's Doc, Ben, Drive, and so named. And uh, Ben and Drive are uh, usually considered uh, among uh, the best players in Poland, together with, of course, the uh, Frag Executors guys. And uh, Fear Factory is a team. Uh, that is no pushover, not even for frag executors. So uh, then there's the frag executors, of course, with Cuban, uh, in-game leader nowadays, not Taz anymore, like he used to be. Then there's the Neo, the star player and former esports player of the year. There's Taz, former in-game leader. There's the Lord and there's Pasha, the latest edition, although that's already almost two years ago. And uh, well, the best Polish sniper we have seen since Luke uh, retired. And let's just wait and see what happens in the pistol round. Map overview won't work, HLTV bug, can't help it, sorry. But uh, let's just see where the terrors are hiding. There's a few in uh, lower tunnels, uh, working their way towards mid. And who are they gonna meet up with? It's gonna be a split B probably, or a fake, but I don't suppose a fake in the pistol round will. That's not usually. The tactic of choice. Here we go with a split towards B while Pasha and Neo tear it up at mid. Headshot from drive, but still frag executors dropping the fa factory workers left and right. And here we go, entry on the B bomb side, but not for long. Ben gets taken out. Last man standing will be on mid. So named. What can he do against three wild executors? Four, in fact. And the bomb is, of course, down in the B bomb site. A lot of USP is covering it, so so named has his work cut out for him, making his way onto the middle area. Gets the first headshot. Is he able to pick up the USP? He is. Can he put it to use, though? One CT in CT base, but he's going to have to watch out because there's two on his left side as well, near B. He's just going to run in there. Oh, here we go. So close. Can he knife him? No. <laughs> oh, valuable attempt, but just not long enough arms to get Pasha down. And, uh, well, that's going to be an eco here for Fear Factory. And uh, probably a second one as well, unless they are able to plant a bomb this time. Of course, it's uh, really important, to, uh, even if you lose a round, to try and get that bomb planted at least. And uh, that's what we're gonna see here, a touchdown tactic. Rushing their way into long, hoping to get one pig and get close maybe to plant that bomb. No chance so far whatsoever though. Pasha and Neo just clearing up. Cleaning house. And uh, that's probably another full save for Fear Factory. Perhaps a deagle left and right, but no more than that. There we go. I heard a lot of buy sound, so that's probably deagles. Whoa, hello, a galil and a few deagles. And there's two, 
two Galils and one AK and two Deagles for Fear Factory. So Frag Executors is gonna have to be focused and not get surprised. Pasha does the job, however, at long, at short. Here we go, nice headshot onto Doc and oh, almost gets the second as well, but THS takes him out while Ben is on the flank, making his way too long. He's gonna try and catch these frag executors off guard. Able to make his way into the A-bomb site unseen. The bomb is still up on THS. Ben is in a good position here. Oh, there we go. First frag onto Neo. And uh, THS making his way towards A while Ben clears it. Oh, he's not able to get the bomb there because Taz is close, but Drive says, mm, doesn't matter. No worries, I got this. Frag executors already conceding a last round. I'm gonna keep track of the score. And uh, that surprise by a fear factory did pay off this time. Usually you uh, you would expect a few frags left and right and a close round, but uh, the CT is to win it in the end with the M4s. This time, however, Fear Factory really took the fight to their uh, fellow countrymen. Let's see what Drive can do. Hailed as one of the best Polish players, like I said, leading the top of the board right now with three versus two score. Teammates flashing and nading for him, but nice little stack there on the boxes, and Lord takes him out. Ben knows they're there, but he's gonna back it up. Focusing towards the B bombs, I THS up front. Oh, one player spotted on on the platform. Already some guys dropping from A to a CT base, so it has been called. Ben and Tom opening things up though. He was gonna rotate all the way through T spawn. Or they're gonna go for exit frags, not sure. Yeah, that's exit frags right there. Cuban also still in hiding. We're waiting for his teammates, of course, to get close. They are gonna be really late if they're waiting for Neo. Oh, Lord is actually all the way up short, so yeah. That's not gonna be an attempt at retaking the bomb side. That's gonna be an attempt at exit frags. And Neo is in the best spot for that. I think they will be exiting through the B hallway. Let's see what Philip Kubski can do. Not so much, nothing <laughs> actually. He played it too safe, a little too safe. He should have peeked into hallway perhaps. But there we go. Fear Factory, Frag Executors, two versus two to score. Then again, does two. T sided map. It's Quite usual to see a team uh, win 10 versus 5, their T side, and then still have trouble in their uh, second half. Here we go, so name taken out by Pasha with the, <laughs> with the Deagle. And Fear Factory slowly making their way towards uh, the short area, but they're quite handicapped right now, 3 versus 5. And their players at long were taken out, so it's not gonna be a, a split anymore. Gonna be either a head on rush. Oh, nice stack there again at short. Pasha pushing up at long. Here we go. Oh, insane headshot onto Drive. Although you could wonder, shouldn't Drive have just shot him in the face right there? Smoke's tossed over. Is this gonna be a stack near double doors? No, just nading up mid. In case there's anyone there, let's see who took damage. THS took a few. Oh, so named. Caught a grenade right in the face, it appears. Oh, and drive as well. THS one with the first frag. Always important. Oh, look at that stack. Frag executor's A setup is so 
So great, a CT. Neo at the first frag, Pasha running in to help him. Flash in front of the box, smart play. But here we go, with the rush anyway. No chance though against Neo and Pasha, only one frag there. And Ben is gonna be able to get through at long while Doc is splitting the other way, so Pasha surrounded. Singled out from two sides, bomb's gonna get planted. Oh, here we go. Tess is right there. Here Doc is. Oh, nice frag by Tess. Just being patient, waiting for Doc to uh, peek out. And then takes him out. That's another round for frag executors. Three versus two. Four versus two in the meantime. And here we go with a quick rush towards the B bomb side. Of course, full eco for Fear Factory. Smoke from the CTs that might just help them, in fact, rather than uh, bother them. Oh, but here's Taz and Cuban going to work. Ah, going down. It's a pretty much standard procedure to uh, lob a flat, uh, smoke grenade in there. Because then you see the models sticking out better against the background if they rush out of there. Because uh, some of the models you can't see too well against the light dust two background against the wall. And with a smoke behind them, it's uh, just a bright model lighting up against the dark smoky background. In that case, they're easily to, uh, to see. Pasha's in a nice spot in the pit. But I'm not sure if Fear Factory is making their way towards A because Doc is in the upper hallway. There are some guys top mid, but oh, here goes Ben. Three players up at long. THS Ben. And oh, there's, <laughs> there's Neo with the AWP shot. And Pasha is in a key position here if he doesn't get spotted. Oh, Ben doesn't see him. Let's see where Pasha is. Oh, taken out by Ben. Unfortunately, that ties it back up to a 4 versus 4. And Drive going to work. Taking out Lord. While Duck is in a good position to take over mid. Short push. Ooh, Drive 4 health remaining. They are making their way towards A. Taz is totally out of position. It's going to be Neo, the man who has to do it for Fraggy Sectors if he misses his first shot. Oh, he misses. Oh, another! So close. Here come the nades. And that's Ben taking him out. Two versus three. Bomb planted. Oh, Cuban guessed the first, but now it's a one versus two. And what else can he do? Cuban in a tough spot right here. Oh, there we go. Insane headshot onto Doc, making it a one versus one. Cuban, can he complete the hat trick and defuse the bomb in time? Wow, he takes out Ben as well. Not such smart play by Ben. He, uh, he came out before hearing any defuse sounds. Should have just stalled him, but that marks another round on the board for Frag Sector. Six to two. And perhaps that shows uh, the difference in experience, perhaps. Especially, maybe not even experience playing Counter-Strike. The amount of time and years, but playing it at international events around the world. Global Counter-Strike. <laughs> Global Offensive. <laughs> there we go. Map overview still bothering me. Pasha in the B-bomb site with an AWP and getting boosted onto platform. Great positioning. That's gonna be a lockdown for business. Unless uh, Fear Factory has some perfect flashes and smokes, but once again they are trying to make their way towards the A bomb site. Ooh, here's THS making his way onto mid, in fact. Just gonna try and see if there's anyone on CT base. Ooh, Taz is right there. Probably aware of someone at double doors. Perhaps it's being called, perhaps he heard something. Here we go, Taz with the first. Here comes the second and third. Oh, he gets another one before going down at the hands of Doc. And there's Pasha and Cuban just ripping it up.
Drive made his way into the B bombsite with the bomb, but Cuban alarmingly easy takes him out. That's seven to two on Frag Executor CT side, and that's that spells bad things for Fear Factory. Of course, it's best of three. Nothing lost just yet. And here we go with a quick deagle rush towards A. Fear Factory focusing on double doors and short. Oh, Ben with the first. Pasha goes down. That's important. AWP player taken out early on in the round. And in fact, the AWP in the hands of Ben. The sniper for Fear Factory. That could just make the difference. Here we go. First frag by Frag Sectors. Four versus four again. Lord carrying his weight. Oh, there we go. Contact. Initiated at long. Flash is coming in. Here we go. Ben is going to scope it out. Oh, no chance. Cuban takes him out. And oh, there's his friends to help him. To deal with the deagle around. No chance. 9-2. 8-2, to two, sorry. Frag Sector is just cruising on towards a comfortable first half score against their uh, fellow countrymen of Fear Factory. Here we go, quick boost on to short. Let's see where the terrors are hiding. They're not hiding, they're uh, pushing up slowly towards mid and short. AWP on mid, hurt by Doc. He's gonna back it up. And it's just hanging out at long, not doing much. Pasha once again rocking the AWP. This time at the A bomb side. And he did see a terror in pit. He's kind of taunting him, but Pasha isn't gonna be able to get much of a shot off. And ooh, he gets tagged down to 76 HP. Here we go, contact that short. Pasha deciding to just leave that guy in pit for what he is. Oh, so close to getting that shot. Now he's surrounded. Both short and long pushing on. Pushing up. Oh, here we go. He misses the shot. So named with a key frag right here. One versus four and Fear Factory is going to convert this around into a win. I'm just going to write it down already. Eight versus three. But what can Taz do? He is at long. Can he get a few exit frags? He gets the first. Is he even gonna attempt to retake? No. Surely he can. No, there we go. Going for the exit frag. Nobody really hunting for him. They knew where he was, but they don't feel compelled to try and take his weapon away. Pretty odd. <coughs> then again, they are in a tough financial situation. They need their own weapons more than needing to take the weapons of Frag Executors away. Because Frag X will have quite a few rounds in which they can comfortably buy weapons after winning uh, seven in a row. Oh, action already at the A bomb site. Once again, Fear Factory focuses on A. So named to Tommy, replying onto Lord and Pasha's frags. Make it 3v3. Bomb getting picked up by Drive. Nice little boost there. Getting Pasha on the high ground with his AWP sniper rifle. <coughs> but Ben has one as well. Interesting matchup here. 3 versus 3. Both teams with a sniper. Taz in the upper hole. Cuban at short. They have 
positional advantage. Look at this. Oh, gets the first. Can he get the second? He gets out of there without getting too much damage. Oh, he did catch a headshot there. Or a wallbang headshot, at least. 19 health. 3v2 though, so not much of a problem. Oh, Pasha hitting his shots. Monster AWP. That's a flash that's not gonna do any good unless Ben walks on towards A. But his teammates clear us out already. Nine versus three. And uh, Pear Factory are gonna need to close out this half winning if they want anything to do with taking Dust 2 home. I think it was double elimination the tournament, so if they lose they're not out of the tournament just yet. They probably have a second chance at getting back through the lower bracket. But it's gonna be harder nonetheless. And here we go, Pasha Lord Neo. Pasha again. Wow. Such insane action at mid, especially Pasha with uh, with his USP. Pistol whipping the Fear Factory players around the map. Here we go. Tommy during freeze time bugging his way down the ramp. <laughs> Neat little trick by duck hopping. We can already move a bit. It's the HS right there. Oh, they managed to surprise Lord before he gets onto the A bomb site. And that little duck hopping down the ramp did work. That got him a frag, so smart move there. That's what makes the difference in a match like this. Unless, of course, frag executors take the match home. In that case, it didn't do them much good in the end. Nice setup on mid. Crossfire towards double doors with one upper. Oh, here we go. Oh, AWP misses his shot. Neo goes down at the hands of Doc. And the Tusk still holding back at B. Bombs it. Oh, Cube in a nice position, pushing up all the way. To the back of the Fear Factory players. Could just. Oh, just too late to surprise them. Bomb has been planted. planted already. Oh, he got flashed. So no chance for a frag just yet. Oh, Tass and Pasha do have, have that chance though. And again, Ban and Drive just cleaning up. Great round. By Fear Factory. Making it 10 to 4, the scoreline. Last round. It's desperately needed for Fear Factory. With Dust being a T sided map. And Frag Sector is already taking 10 rounds as CT. Don't want to give them any more. Here we go. Ben starting it off with two insane frags from a spray. In the lower hallway. Bit of luck there with a the frag on Cuban. But uh, awesome start of this round for Fear Factory. Here we go, Lord semi flashed. Making his way back onto the staircase. Oh, Taz in a nice position. But most of the Terra players are at A. Pasha on mid with the AWP. Yeah, THS was the only one near B. He's making his way back towards A. So let's see what Lord can do. That's already pushing up towards short. Lord gets the first opening pick. Four versus three. Here we go. Four guys at long. He kind of felt that out pretty good. Oh, nice shot by Pasha. Lord adds one as well. Doc takes out Pasha though. Making it a two versus two with entry at long. Bomb not getting planted because Taz. Has make sure so named is not able to cover his teammate. That's 11 to 4, and Dust 2 seems to be in the bag for FX, but let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet. Fear Factory on the CT side. Can they take the pistol round? That's gonna be key. Can they string something together on the back of those anti eco rounds, perhaps? Get their confidence up again, because right now they're fighting against King Kong, climbing an uphill.
fighting an uphill battle. Bit of a break. Lord says go, go, go. Ready for takeoff. Here we go, both teams readying up, live on three pretty soon. Cuban in-game leader doing pretty well this match so far, but Pasha was the main man on the side of Fraglic Sectors. On the back of his great AWP play, FX was able to lock it down. Let's see if Ben can do the same for Fear Factory in the second half. Of course, they're gonna have to win that pistol round for him to even get his hands on an AWP first. Here we go, quick rush from Frag Sectors. No, just holding up at the top of mid and Pasha getting the first USP frag. That's something they usually do. Drop Neo and Pasha USP, let them buy armor. And be the first guys to engage. And there's Doc with a nice USP frag, getting taken out though, refrag by Tas. So named in position, alerted of their presence. Here we go, action at the A-bomb side. But I kind of get the feeling it is a fake. And uh, they're going towards me. No, no, no. There's already a guy at long as well. Whoa, Pasha and Cuban. Pasha from behind and Cuban with a perfect timing on his nade. And then the bomb's going to get planted. One versus four. THS. Thomas Sopel, what can you do? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> nice little stack there. Taz and Lord ripping it up. That's 12 versus four in, ca in favor of Fragax. I'm gonna go ahead and call this map for Frag Sectors. We'll probably see Fear Factory doing a desperate buy right now. Because they, they're gonna need to turn things around right now. Don't wanna let it get to 13 or 14 to 4. Gonna have to stop them in their tracks while you're at it. While you still have a chance. No, that's actually full safe. Just USPs. Three men stack it long, dock at the B bomb site. Playing it aggressive. Ooh. There was actually one guy there, but Doug's gonna back it up. Here we go. Neo with the first pick. Not buying a gun just yet. Using USP in order to be able to buy an AWP later. Pasha doing the same. Frag Sectors is just toying with Fear Factory. They've all bought a USP and they haven't bought any weapons. <laughs> It's like a second pistol round all over again. It's kind of a humiliation, although they do have the nades, of course. Here we go, Neo cleaning it up. Insanity right there. Haven't seen that very often. All USPs on a T-side team after winning the pistol round. Crazy. It used to be a default tactic to buy uh, MP5s in the second round after you won your first pistol round. Lately, uh, a lot of teams have uh, adopted the new way of Counter-Strike where they would uh, just buy M4, FAMAS or AK, save themselves some money by trying to just hold on to that weapon for the round after. Perhaps not buying armor and helmets, or perhaps buying less nades. Here's Doc finally doing something back with that USP. He's gonna be able to pick up that weapon though, no chance. Cuban there to finish him off and that makes it 14 to four. An insane deficit of 10 rounds. And Fear Factory surely can't claw themselves back in this match. But if they can, this is the round where it started. This is the key around, this is where they do something insane and THS gets into the 
Lower hallway unseen, and he has the drop on Lord. He does get the frag as well. And right now, positional advantage for Fear Factory. They are in control of this map. They know pretty much where their opponents are because so named is already in the lower tunnels. Pasha in the tough spot. Here we go, Sonit with the first frags. A nice little stack here on short. I'm actually hoping for some terrors to uh, come out there. It's Pasha. No, he's going towards long, so we're not going to see the stack in action. But Doc has kind of already felt out the fact that Fragex is coming along or he heard something. See where they are. Cuban is gonna be the first man in. Oh, he can't get the frag because he was semi flashed. Great counter flashes by uh, Fear Factory, but then again, Cuban comes in with the frag. And Pasha adds one as well, making it a two versus two. This is still gonna be an exciting round, thanks to amazing hopping by Pasha, in fact, making it a one versus two. So, named last man standing for Fear Factory after having such a great round. He already had two frags. His teammates managed to give. The advantage to uh, fear, back to fear frag executor. Sorry, and uh, there's a nice frag right there to finish things off, and that's match point for frag executors. There you go, Pasha. Not trying to get the pick through the door. Just waiting to see if anyone tries to get into lower end. They did, THS, but denied access. Taken out before he could reach the box. Good hopping by Pasha. There's Lord adding another. This is just finishing off the formalities. Who's left for Fear Factory? So named and drive the pressure is huge because this map seems lost already. Here we go. They're gonna rotate towards B. Drive gets the first. That makes it a four versus two. Can we see another drive by? A lot of spamming with those AKs through the B walls. And here's Pasha. Having to drop on drive because drive has to cover two angles. And there we go. Pasha knows exactly where he was. And Last man standing, so named, gonna get taken out, no chance. First map goes to Frag Executors. Let's have a look, see what the second map will be. Here we go. Five. There it is, Dust 2 has been played. 16 to 4 the score in favor of frag executors and we're gonna get second map inferno and if needed if fear factory can somehow claw their way back then we're gonna see train so uh, don't go anywhere we'll see you back in five minutes for a small break uh, see you back at inferno
Every freaking night. 